Welcome to the Karen and Joey Show. I'm your host, Joey Sampaga. And I'm Karen Langston. The expert. Oh, yeah, thanks. I must do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> so today's Healthy Vital Vibration, we're going to be talking about something that we bathe in, mm -hmm. that we wash dishes in, mm -hmm. that we wish we lived by. Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And that we drink. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about Kool-Aid. No! Not Kool-Aid! <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to be talking about H2O. We're going to talk about water. 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 <laughs> yeah, so we're to say that. Yep. We bathe in it. We wash in it. Yes. We dish in it. Yes, yes. definitely. What's yep. your favorite watering hole? I love the ocean. Mm, I love the ocean too, but I particularly like the Caribbean and the ocean that surrounds it and the white sand. Really? Yeah. So what's wrong with the Arizona um, man-made <laughs> lakes and, and canals? Have you seen those? Have you smelt those canals? <laughs> Yeah, they are Not pretty so much. <laughs> yeah, no. So, so yeah. let's talk about water. Okay. Yeah, definitely. 25% solid matter. Yeah. That's what we are. Okay. And the rest is water. Okay. Yeah. 85% of our brain tissue and muscle is water. 80, okay. 82% of our liver is water mm -hmm. and our bones are 22 percent water and a wow. mere five percent drop in water levels in the body causes 25 to 30 percent loss of energy mm, that's amazing interesting. right okay and mild dehydration can cause metabolism to slow down by three percent mm -hmm. okay and a two percent drop in fluid levels can cause fuzzy short-term memory mm -hmm. and a mere 15 percent drop can cause death wow yes so don't sleep in a freezer <laughs> That's solid state. No, you, you need to drink water. You can actually get a whole week without food, but not a whole week without water. Okay, okay. okay. We're designed, water is designed to use, um, to help the blood pump through the body, right? Okay, Does okay. that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, okay. And it keeps our platelets from sticking. Okay, right? and, and platelets are the things that cause the clots. If, yes. if it's not taken care of properly. Absolutely. See, I know yes. what I'm talking about. No, you're getting good. Okay. We might have to switch seats. Yes. <laughs> and it insulates and cushions our joints and our organs and uh -huh. our glands to, to protect us from physical blows. Okay. Okay. And it helps uh, carry uh, electrical charges from cells and as well as uh, cellular waste through the body. Mm -hmm. So think about depression. Depression. Okay. okay. And it transports nutrients from the foods that we eat mm -hmm. to where they're needed in the body. Okay. And it allows for hormones to function properly and it regulates body temperature and it has the ability to allow our body to repair, store, and heal. So basically, we need water. Yes, we can't live without it. Now, this is really interesting. Mm -hmm. If you're in a dehydrated state, okay, all right, like a severe dehydrated um, state, mm -hmm. the body will actually close off small capillaries mm -hmm. and reroute that water to where it's needed in the body to keep the organs mm. going. Okay, so when you're in this survival mode, the arteries will become smaller to avoid air pockets. Okay, okay? and this causes the blood pressure to go up. I see. So think about high blood pressure. Okay. All right, you can actually alleviate some of your high blood pressure with drinking more water hmm. interesting right yes it is it is so yeah. it does affect the uh the blood's pressure yeah absolutely interesting yeah wow yes okay now the body sends out distress signals mm -hmm. all right and they're saying oh we're really thirsty we need it mm -hmm. and what do we do we drink, drink colas yep caffeine mm -hmm. you know all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff mm -hmm. energy drinks right and those are diuretics mm -hmm. so they actually take that little bit of fluid that we have left in our body yep and drains it Ah, okay, because it increases urine output, right? Okay. So now your body's in a desperate attempt, and so it sends out other signals, and it'll send out aches mm -hmm. and pains and headache and that kind of thing. And then mm -hmm. what do we do? We run to the store, and we go get some kind of headache remedy sure. or something to stop the pain, when all we really need to do was drink water. water. So that's water, what you can water. do? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah well, absolutely. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yep. So, so, okay, this is what I hear. Mm -hmm. Is it true that we need to drink six to eight glasses of water a day? Yes and no. Okay. <laughs> All right. The experts say that it's six to eight glasses of water, but that's based on an average male, and that was a 150-pound man. Okay, that's All right. All right. Are we... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not 100. Okay, uh, so 150 yeah, you pounds. You could be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I think you are. So, so if people weigh more than 150 pounds... They're going to need more water. Okay, and how, right? do they, how do you calculate this? Okay, this is how I calculate it as the expert that I, I am, all okay, right? Okay, okay. It's based on your body weight. All right. All right. On, all right. So take your weight of 150 pounds. Yes. Divide by two. Yes. How many? That's 75. Very good. Yes. So that's 75 ounces of water that you need per day. 75 ounces. Okay. Okay. And then you take that and you divide by eight mm -hmm. because the experts say we need um, six to eight glasses of eight ounce water, right? Okay. So that's about 9.4. Right. So if it's so. 9.4 
glasses of water that you uh, need a day at 150 pounds. I'm missing a glass. Yes, so clearly mm. a 150 pound person is going to be in a dehydrative state, correct? Sure, that makes sense. Right, and then if you're drinking caffeine products, you have mm -hmm. to add an extra water. Mm. If you're going to be exercising, you need post, during, and pre. So mm. eight ounces, eight ounces, eight ounces. Okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay. Yep, and if you're pregnant, well, you won't be pregnant, but if you're a pregnant woman, <laughs> <laughs> okay. you're definitely going to need more water as well because you've got more volume going on in sure, there, right? Sure, Yeah, sure. exactly. Exactly. Uh, if you're exercising outdoors, yeah. especially in this heat, yes. you definitely have to add in another eight ounce glass of water per hour that you're outside. Yes. You can drink more water and you it actually helps you lose weight. Yes, yes. Do you want to know a little tip? Yeah. Okay, here's a really cool tip. This is the only time I'll ever tell you to drink cold, cold water, okay? okay. 20 minutes before you're about to eat, mm -hmm. all right, I want you to go and get a very ice cold glass of water mm -hmm. and you're going to drink it down. And what's going to happen is your digestive system is going to be shut off because now the spleen has to work at bringing your body temperature back up because your body likes to be at 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit and 36.5 or 37 degrees Celsius, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So while that's going on, the stomach is actually expanding. Okay. All right. And so now you're, you're triggering your brain that you've already started eating. Makes sense? Interesting, yes, So then yes. after 20 minutes, the water is released because the body temperature comes back up. Mm. So you start eating food and you're not going to eat as much because your stomach's already expanded. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, I see. I, I see it. So 20 minutes, drink a glass of cold water ice. with yes. ice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. But, but, you know, I know that we need to drink a lot of water, mm -hmm. but sometimes the taste is just like super boring. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, there's some things you can do. Like okay. here, I've got some lemons in uh -huh. mine. Okay. If it's not organic, take the uh, slice of yep. the, the take outside the peels off, off. Right. Yep. You can also do frozen berries, okay. cherries, mm -hmm. oranges, cucumbers. Mm -hmm. You can even do herbs. Herbs. Yeah. Herbs. Yes. Really? Yeah, not those kind of herbs. But <laughs> yeah, like um, rosemary, mint, lavender, okay, lemon. Okay, sure. Like think of uh, Hemingway and the mojito. What oh, did yes. he have crushed at the bottom mint. of that, right? That's right. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So for more information, check out the links and docs mm -hmm. and, or the website, the Karen and Joey Show. Under? Under. What's that? <laughs> What is that? This? Yes. Oh, this is my favorite thing in the whole world. Okay. This is actually chlorophyll. Do you know what chlorophyll is? No. It's um, from plants. Okay. You know how plants turn green? Yes. Well, that's because of, of the chlorination process, okay. right? Okay. So what, <laughs> what they've done is they've extracted it, and then you can add it to your water. Okay. Okay. And what it does is it oxygenates the water, mm. and it also regulates your pH balance, and it doesn't taste bad, and it just kind of looks really cool. Wow. And then people that are like, cool. where'd you get that green water from? So like then you green. can just tell them all about your chlorophyll. <laughs> <laughs> and what's it taste like? Just... It, it gives like a little, water. like a clean taste to the water. Got it. I'm going to yeah. try some of that later. Yeah. So until <laughs> next time, live healthy. Be healthy. And stay healthy. And heal thy vital vibrations. You want to see the good stuff? That's good stuff. Go, you got to try it out. I'll try it out. I'll try it out. Try it out.